So, once again, I had highlighted to me today how my brain absolutely just does not work the way anyone else's, well, the way most people seem to. And that's not surprising. But, it's just so clear to me, you know, all along in sort of the technical side of things, whether it was in school or here at work, or outside of work environments, outside of technical as well, and even in gaming, it's like there's certain core competencies, but not core competencies, certain basic competencies that I just lack. that are really the sine qua non uh, of being in the field, as it were. So, uh, the things that, you know, I, I can fight hard, and I've done it before, to learn, to figure out, and maybe if I absolutely know them as a pattern, for this environment, I have to do X, Y, and Z, and that's it, and I always do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I'm a fine automaton once I get it drilled into my head, and I've had that happen. You know, I've managed that a couple of places, a couple of times. Usually, though, these are the things that are something I have to do once, and then don't have to do again for a long time, and then have to fight so hard again to get and, 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 and waste so much time on when everyone else seems to find them bloody easy. Uh, you know, I think back uh, to my last undergrad degree um, where I faced one of these where essentially I had to switch projects because I could not get some external libraries to compile with my code. Uh, I had these grand designs and plans and I just could not use somebody else's tools. Period. <laughs> um, it's very hard for me to use or do anything without completely understanding it. I can't just understand how to use it. I have to understand everything about it inside to really understand how to use it at all. Uh, and to a large extent I get that with a lot of, uh, you know, basic core programming language ideas, right? I, I get the underlying machine architecture. I don't get the electronic architecture. Somehow I'm able to skip that. Somehow I don't need that. Um, it's very strange for me, actually. But I get the logical language. And then uh, I get the concept behind containers, for example. But I can't just know how to use the XML to define things in a Spring container. Uh, that doesn't work for me. I have, there's a step inside of there that I'm not understanding and I can't take on faith sort of enough to learn by rote what I need to know. Or something along those lines. I'm not sure what. When it comes down to uh, And, 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 you know, very simple things like passwords, they just create havoc on me. Uh, there's a reason I skipped the whole help desk position that most people use as their entry into an IT field. Uh, it's because that's exactly what I can never, ever get. I, I cannot drive that into my brain. I, the, the, the things that work for me aren't along those lines. Now what's funny about all of this is a lot of the things that I do think 
and that I've got at least a basic level of competency at are actually things almost no one seems to have. Uh, I see them in people who've risen to the very top. But they seem to also, at least in large part, have these basic competencies of getting to the, you know, of, uh, of having been able to cope with a regular world. You know, I mean, the simple fact is, this is a guy who can't deal with shopping, who can't deal with owning a car. <laughs> um, there's a lot that's just wired so differently in here that there are just these huge flaws, and I don't know how to express, because I come across as a total moron when I'm dealing with almost anyone at that very simple level. How do I get this to work? I don't get it. I just don't. But then when it comes to uh, an example, um, a lot of us understand the concept that you're supposed to abstract things, that you should pull things out, but a lot of us just don't have the ability to do it. It's not a matter of not having the knowledge. They have the knowledge. They just don't have sort of the will to do that no matter what, uh, to say, look, you know, I know I'm under time pressure, but I'm going to try to do this right anyhow. I have that. Uh, I really do. Um, it's like, if I could get around the very basic level failures that waste the majority of my time, I could be very, very productive. Now, on another level, and this is where, because there are people who do not rise to the top who have that ability and also have, you know, the basic abilities that are just assumed, right? But I have this tendency to make connections that other people just, I don't know if they just don't make them or if their brains aren't able to see them or what, but they seem almost trivial to me. Uh, <laughs> leading me to ask questions that really get to the root of the matter. Leading me to see possibilities that other people largely aren't seeing. And in a lot of cases, they're just so very, very basic to me, and maybe to them too, that it's, <laughs> see, I'm used to being the incompetent person, I'm used to my flaws, but <sighs> people don't usually want to have pointed out to them the obvious that they've avoided, <sighs> and I don't know if it's just, you know, I mean, some of it may just be the way I am in terms of the way I communicate or whatever, it just makes it seem more like I'm saying, how can you miss this? How can you not do this? Because it seems so obvious to me. Now, I'm so used to not seeing the obvious to other people that it doesn't bother me that much when somebody points that out to me. But I guess if you're used to being very competent and, 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 and able to do things well and not have this, wait a minute, why aren't you doing this? Isn't this just the clear thing? And Yeah, I know, but maybe, maybe that just no matter what is going to be delicate ground to tread on. And I, you know, the fact that I'm very willing to accept that I can't handle these things that all of you can handle or whatever, uh, I, I'm able to say, yeah, you know, I'm just not good at that. But it's very hard for other people to see something that looks simple enough and say, I can't. Uh, it, it's more of a blow to them. 
because like with the things that I know that I should be able to do, perhaps they just know they should be doing them, should be able to do them, should know these things. Um, anyway. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a very frustrating position to be in because I know that when I do face this kind of you know I, I, I'm afraid even even though I'm willing to admit it sometimes I'm just absolutely afraid to show the, the level to which I can't handle this stuff so I end up wasting humongous amounts of time trying to get it right the once so that I don't have to deal with it again, but it comes up again and again in different factors, in different areas, and it's just this this huge section of stuff that is beyond my ability to retain the knowledge of, or even to kind of extrapolate one from another, because it's all stuff that deep down is so uninteresting to me. Uh, things like configuration, um, proper syntax. <laughs> Luckily, there's stuff like IDEs that step in and help me tremendously with that. Because before an IDE, yeah, I would spend hours and hours and hours looking for that lost semicolon. Uh, and I, I, I just wouldn't be able to cope with it. Now, at one of the OWASP meetings, uh, the last one I went to, I think this last month, um, the uh, the presenter was putting out, well, this is your toolkit. You should just be able to do things, these things, like, you know, navigating within a number of different environments very comfortably, uh, typing fast, uh, coming up with quick scriptings and stuff like that. Those things I just can't do. I mean, it's not like I haven't tried. Uh, it's just there's no talent there. You know, I mean, I'm not. I, I, even when I do get, if I do get really almost at a level of bare competency at them, it's been a tremendous pain and repetition. Uh, and you can't move me from one situation to another easily then. Yet, you can put me into a discussion that's fairly um, I don't know how to even put this I, completely new to me yet I can see the salient points in, in in the issue and sometimes bring up known problems very easily a lot of times. A lot of times I bring something up and I almost feel like someone is saying, okay, you're trying to look smart. You went and learned up a couple of key issues about it and then, you know, withdrew. You, you, you didn't build up enough knowledge a baseline to understand that, but you like read up about it. No, I'm sitting there and I'm just getting it. I'm getting where the problem is going to be. And it's almost like I have an intuitive feel for that in a way that I know other people do, and I know other people who are competent and who aren't crazy do. But uh, usually the people who do, who are competent and aren't crazy, and some who are crazy, I'm not sure if they're incompetent, just Boom! They're way up there right away. Uh, now, I just, it's very hard to see how to make my way when I can see people who've paid their dues and made their way up are making these decisions that maybe, you know, I'm not qualified to make but I'm qualified to put good input into, I can 
tell you that much. Uh, I, I, I've seen that a time and again where I've brought up points that just bang, they hit the nail on the head and, and you know, maybe I don't have the solution right away or maybe I do have the solution uh, in abstract but not, you know, the details of it. And it's, uh, you know, I, I can see where I'm giving a lot of valuable input there, but that ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> you know? Um, uh, all along, I still am at what I'd consider to be stuff that 85 to 95 percent of my time is spent banging my head against the wall trying to get over what I can barely accomplish at best. Yet, I can see myself able to operate at the level where the people who've already made it through this may be even struggling. <laughs> and that bothers me. Uh, that bothers me a great deal because there doesn't seem to be a path like that ever. Uh, you know, I, 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 I just, I don't know. I, I, I try to make such paths, but I can't find them. And all I end up doing is probably pissing people off uh, with my presumptuousness. And then it angers, you know, then they have not just this kind of distrust, dislike from that, but then they go on to being able to say, look, you can't even do the simplest things. Now, I'm a guy who could not learn to tie his shoes. I had to struggle so hard for that. Yeah, now I can tie my shoes, but it's still not the easiest thing in the world for me. I probably have to spend more thought on it than most people uh, above the age of five or something. Um, and I just, uh, you know, and, and, okay, so let me link this to the gaming because the same thing is there. Uh, I'm not saying I'm tremendously good at coming up with the proper broad strokes. But when it comes down to executing them, um, the mechanical aspects, remembering little rules and, and, and applying them, a lot of times I have a lot of difficulty with that. Um, then again, I think a lot of people do who are gamers. Um, I, I know that I've very often caught the right gist of the rules, but where you know other people may have a, a harder time with that, I guess. I don't know. But... I'll miss little key elements because I'm so used to being able to jump ahead and make those quick connections. That's, that's what the configuration shows. You can't, it, it's not like, you know, you can't learn this stuff. It's not even, you can't just deduce this stuff. You have to actually learn it by rote. And I'm horrible at learning things by rote. <laughs> The only way for me to do it is for me to pretty much devote everything to that and become really much, much less valuable than I think I should be. I mean, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be doing that kind of broad work, that's probably the limit of where I can go. And I think that's you know a real misuse. You know, and when I was doing security, I, I actually felt like I was more in my comfort zone in terms of being able to inject the right level into things. Now, I still had my problems when I had to sit down and actually physically test something. So much of the time was spent trying to get the information that I needed to understand. What? what was going on, you know, so that I could do 
any kind of test, you know? Hey, how, how, how do I hit this? What, what, what's, you know, how, how do I get through the application? None of that was ever clear. Now, I think I was always operating at a disadvantage there because we didn't have the good documentation and if we didn't have uh, uh, ever a resource to say, oh, here's my application here. Let me help you go through it, which I had with other applications previously. But security was always, you know, we really don't want you to find anything. <laughs> so we'd rather not have you really get it. You know, the less you know, the less you're going to find on us, and that's just fine. Um, as opposed to normal Q, which largely is, yeah, you really do have to know what the application is if you're going to test it. You do have to know the piece that you're testing at the very least. Well, that was never absolutely uh, provided in the same way. And so a lot of the effort there was always, and, and I had to keep switching and doing this configuration again and again. So again, 90% of my time was probably spent on very frustrating things that I wanted to run and hide from that I couldn't handle. Uh, <laughs> And that's where, you know, that's, that's where I'm always worried about is, at least there though, I felt like I had input into the bigger picture in good ways. Here I'm having a lot more trouble with that. Uh, not, not because other people are resistant to it, which was more the case there, but I'm just not, you know, influencing the design. Now I'm influencing the design of the tests. Uh, the tests that I've taken over are mine and I'm doing what I can with them and trying to rationalize uh, the way they're, 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 they're set up because